your health, an earphone-based acoustic otoscope for detection of multiple ear diseases in daily life. People with hearing loss are a large community in the United States. We can see in this figure that 38.2 million people in the U.S. suffer from this problem, and one in five in the world. Common causes for hearing loss include the following. Long-time earbud use may lead to earwax blockage or ruptured eardrum. Working in a loud environment may lead to ruptured eardrum. Age-related sensory neural degeneration may lead to earwax blockage. Cold flu or allergies, which may lead to otitis media, especially in children. The four most common ear conditions. The normal ear has no blockage in the ear canal and eardrum has normal mobility. A ruptured eardrum means a hole or tear in the eardrum. Otitis media occurs when there's fluid in the middle ear, which decreases the eardrum mobility. Earwax blockage means hardened or impacted earwax that can block the ear canal. Existing solutions for these ear conditions consist of clinical and at-home solutions. In the clinical solution, an onorhinolaryngologist may examine a patient's ear with an otoscope. For an at-home solution, there are two devices, EarCheck Pro and a smartphone-based detection device, which detects middle ear fluid based on eardrum mobility. How to enable early detection of those prevalent ear health conditions in daily life settings? We can see in this figure the ear canal structure is almost the same, but the eardrum mobility is different. In this, the ear canal structures are different and the eardrum mobility is low. In order to distinguish eardrum mobility, we utilize the acoustic features of FFT. We can see that FFT features are different. Channel response is widely used to differentiate ear canal structure. This figure shows channel response features are different. In our experiment, we recruited 92 human subjects. The results show that our system is helpful for monitoring different ear conditions. Welcome to our presentation in MobiSys 22. Thank you.